We're going to talk about traversing the DOM one more time in this video. Now, in the previous videos, we've talked about going from parent to child, and then in the last video, we went from child to parent. In this video, we're going to go sibling to sibling to sibling, and you can actually go to the right, and you can go to the left. So this doesn't involve the parent-child relationship. We're at the sibling level, and we stay there. So again, we're just going to go from sibling to sibling to sibling. Okay, so let's take a look at the code here. Uh, first, let's take a look at the web page. And I've just made a minor tweak here. I've moved the ID to the second paragraph element because we want to go backwards and forwards. And so let's flip back to the JavaScript code and start filling this in. All right, so I'll go ahead and copy and paste the first line here. And you can see we're just using get element by ID to get the second paragraph's ID. And we're just going to store that again in the para2 variable. And so I'll copy and paste the next line here. And we're going to create a variable called sibling. And of course, we're going to use the para2 object. And what we're going to do is specify next element's sibling. And so we're going to go to the right. So this should pick up the third paragraph, which of course is the sibling of the second paragraph. And then we're going to do what we've been doing the last couple of videos. We're just going to change the text to blue. But again, that's not the point of this lecture. We're interested in this new property. Okay, so let's go ahead and save everything up and let's see if this works. And we'll go launch this in Chrome. And there you can see the third paragraph's text is changed to blue. All right, so let's go back to the JavaScript code. And let's make a comment here so you can have this as an example. And we'll just uh, copy and paste this entire line here. And so the next property we can put here is previous element sibling. And I think you know what that means. So we'll just save everything up here. And let's go ahead and run this. And if we click our button, there you can see the previous sibling of the second paragraph, which is the first paragraph, of course, is now altered. Okay, so one thing I want to point out here before we go is that you can actually get rid of this element. Yes, and you could just use the previous sibling property. And the same thing for here. You could just say next sibling. But remember, you'll run into those white space nodes if you do that. Remember, once you pull the element out of here, you will start hitting those white space nodes. So I do not recommend that you do that. I recommend that you use these properties that have element in them because it's really kind of difficult to deal with those white space nodes. Okay, that's going to do it for this video. In the next video, we are going to start looking at form validation, a huge subject in JavaScript. See you guys then.